Hi guys, welcome to another video. So, hi everyone. I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you guys are staying safe. Uh, I hope this pandemic scenario has not affected you as much as it has most people. Um, I'm really praying that you are okay and well. My name is Derek, is Derek Moredi. Uh, though I call myself Michelle Derek, I just feel it has a nicer vibe to it. Um, welcome once again to the video and i want to get into this video because i feel like i usually talk a bit too much and digress a lot so in today's video uh i will be talking about advice and this video is inspired by someone i was talking to last week and the conversation was around how creatives take advice from established creatives our conversations around it just uh were very interesting and i thought i should share that with you guys so today's video is referencing uh, one of uh, my favorite creators from East Africa. He's actually tan Tanzanian. His name is Ose Greka Sinari. Ilojina. Ose is a Tanzanian photographer and filmmaker. He does a lot of travel content, both photos and uh, videos. And his stuff is really great. And uh, a few weeks ago, he put out a video um, advising creatives who are starting out some mistakes they should avoid as they are working on their journey or working on their businesses and something of the sort so the video was actually very insightful also covered topics such as obsession over gear working for free and simple things like hygiene which is not something that very many people think about actually uh, however i just felt like within the video I just felt like there was something that he wasn't saying and this is what sparked the conversation with uh, my friend. Creatives who have established themselves indirectly act as our mentors. These individuals will be giving us guidance and advice on how to approach various issues as creatives. But then I feel that as uh, creatives who are starting out and looking up to these individuals, we do not take the time to take their advice and look at it from different perspectives. We generally do not take the time to ask ourselves, what are these masters of the craft not saying? I strongly believe that what is said is just as important as what is not said. And the reason I'm a strong believer of this is because if as creatives, we just take what we are told and don't put it, don't test it from different perspectives, we end up becoming narrow-minded creatives. A few years ago, there's this Nigerian author, or Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, I think. A few years ago, uh, she did a TED talk and the title of her speech was The Danger of the Single Story. And in that speech, she highlighted how people in the world are very used to taking one narrative and running with it without really taking it through different perspectives. And that is kind of the reason why we have all these issues that we face. I am sure right now you're asking yourself, Derek, what's your point? What are you saying? Unasema nini? So those are some of the biggest mistakes I have done myself and I've seen up and coming creators doing. Ose admits to making these very mistakes himself. So that made me ask the question, okay, if he made these mistakes, why shouldn't we make the same mistakes ourselves? I mean, just think about it. In making these mistakes, Ose is now the photographer that he is today. Through making those mistakes, he is now the filmmaker that we see today. So maybe I should also kind of make my own mistakes, learn from them. And I mean, it's every other day that we are told as creatives you know fail as much as possible make as many mistakes as possible in fact there's a favorite of mine use failure as the building blocks to your success hey i want to kind of conclude this video uh, by giving you my take on this and I want to give you generally my take 
with a quote from author of Still Like an Artist, Austin Cleon. Uh, he says, some advice can be a vice. Feel free to take what you can use and leave the rest. So I want to end by saying that I am a big believer in great advice, but I also feel that too much advice can be a bad thing. So I think it is important for us as creators who are starting out to make a habit of testing the advice that we get, not just in our work, but also in our lives. Pick some piece of advice, test it out in the process of how you do work, because as creatives, we can we could be like 10 photographers, but we have a completely different process in how we do things. So take advice from someone, test it out, see how it works. If it doesn't work for you, dump it, pick somebody else, and keep going until you find what works for you. Remember, all advice can be a vice. So before I completely end this video, I don't want it to seem like what Ose said was not valid. In fact, I think his video was, like I said at the beginning of this video, it was very insightful. And I kind of took the time to reach out to him and kind of get his perspective on uh, this issue. I actually asked him this this very question, are the mistakes that you've made uh, contributed to the photographer that you had today? And this is what he had to say. I think um, for the video, uh, I think also one of my fears, I guess, whenever when it comes to video is, um, you know, whenever I create something is, it's always like a one way um, conversation. So it's either you say stuff and at the same time, you know, contradict yourself by, you know, stating another perspective or you say your perspective and it opens dialogue. And I think in the situations there's open dialogue. So that video <clears throat> wasn't to say that people shouldn't do mistakes. I think the video was more focused on mentioning the some of the mistakes that we do. Um, I think when I was, you know, focused so much on gear, I never had, uh, I've never had a mentor or somebody who was directing me. I think I was so focused on, you know, the gear and what it could do for me rather than, you know, trying to figure out the composition and other things that I'm realizing now that are more important. But at that time, I didn't have that guidance and I didn't know I was doing a mistake, you know. I definitely believe the fastest way to learn, the first way to grow is through failure and through mistakes. Um, but if somebody can guide you and then also give you insight on some of the mistakes that they've done, it also helps you not spend so much time in that state of failure or mistakes. I think that was more um, along the angles that I was um, going for with the video. All right, guys, so that's just um, some of uh, the things that Ose had to say. As you've heard clearly, he believes that failure is one of the fastest ways to grow. And uh, he said that, you know, just because he said don't make these mistakes doesn't mean that you shouldn't make mistakes. And that's the reason I actually wanted to make this video, to share with you that advice, sometimes we need to put it through very many different perspectives. I have seen this with friends and other creatives whom I've had conversations with and sometimes I see them sticking to just one line of thought because it came from an established uh, creative or somebody who's well known for their creative work and they really don't understand that probably he was saying that thing but there's also another perspective to the issue. So other than that, Sina Mengine Mengi. Mina skia kulala, good night ini. By the way guys, nilinua gari. Akia nani, nilinua gari. Skieni weave, skieni weave. Nikona gari ya yelo.